trapped in a soccer net in St. James and the whole thing was caught on camera. News 12's Virginia Huey has the heartwarming video. What began as a routine morning commute on 25A in St. James quickly took a detour for Todd Brush. He was jumping, he was all over the place. Brush spotted a deer in distress. The animal totally entangled in a soccer net on the fields at Harbor Country Day School. I just figured, well, I gotta do something. Brush grabbed a utility knife from his truck and began cutting into the net to free the deer's antlers. The frightened animal put up a fight. And I started cutting and then he would jump around and then I would start cutting a little more and he would jump around again. And eventually he, uh, he got his feet tangled in a net and he kind of got stuck on his side. That's when I kind of jumped on top of him and uh, grabbed his antlers and just held the antler with one hand and started cutting with the other hand. And, uh, and then I had to switch. You can see in the video how strong the distraught deer was as he frantically thrashed around, lifting the post of the goal off the ground. I eventually got probably about 50% of the cut off. And I realized that he had had, he had still had a rope in his mouth and there was a couple of strands that were really tight around his neck. After a 14 minute struggle, success. I was so excited when he got up and he ran away. I knew that he wasn't injured. The only unfortunate thing about the rescue is it left a big hole in the school's soccer net. Rush says he felt so bad about the damage, he wrote an email to the school explaining what happened and offered to pay for a new one. The school superintendent responded right away. He said, don't even worry about it. He said, I saw the animal was stuck. Somebody had to get him out, and that was going to be the only way it was going to get out. And Brush says he's an animal lover, and he saved many turtles, rabbits, squirrels, and swans. But he says this deer is his biggest and craziest rescue to date. In St. James, Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island, Stone.